Good morning, my listener and my viewer. Uh, this is a, a day that God has made that we meet again this morning. And I pray that God will have a, a, a wonderful day with you. This is a new encounter with God. Let us pray. Everlasting Father, mighty God, we thank you and give you praise, O oh God, my Father, for the time you have given us, O oh God, this morning. I pray, everlasting Father, King of Kings, as we dine into your word, O oh God, my Father. May your spirit, O oh God, will be with us, O oh God, my Father. May we receive your, 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 your anointing, O oh God, my Father, mighty God. That, Lord, this day shall be successful, everlasting Father, mighty God. As we dine into your word, O oh God, my Father. Open, O oh God, our minds, O oh God, my Father. That, Lord, we may be able to perceive what the Holy Spirit of God is saying. We thank you and give you praise for your deep and belief. Amen, amen. Yes, um, my name is Pastor Ones Maskaunda uh, of the River Church Kayole. And we thank God for this day that God has given us. Amen. Uh, we continue with our, uh, our topic of pursuing our dream in life. And we are looking at the portion of uh, gratitude, being a person of giving thanks to God in every situation of our life. And I'm not so, also, I'm also saying that gratitude uh, comes in two ways. That is, you, you may be a person of gratitude even to men and even the people that are surrounding you. Gratitude will open uh, doors for you. When you look back in your life, you can see the faithfulness of God. Sometimes he made a way where there's no way and even uh, uh, even when you made mistakes he showed his favor and mercy unto you and therefore you have every reason to be thankful to God all the days of your life. You are not where you are by your own but it is by the hand of God. If you count uh, how far the Lord has, has taken you from from, from from the time you can, you can think back of your life, you can see the faithfulness of God. Many people have, have, have surrendered their lives, have, have, have um, given up in life because of challenges. But I, when, when you see the, the faithfulness of God, you have to have a word of gratitude to Him. God has been working behind the scenes to bring you to where you are. You are not there by your own, but the Lord has been working behind the scenes so that you can make sure that you succeed in, in life. God has put in you the right people so that they can push you into the next level of elevation. So the, he has been so faithful. He has placed before you people who can move you to the next level of your life. Therefore, you have um, uh, to be grateful to him because not all the people uh, have met um, opportunities like you. You have passed through these um, uh, uh, issues with life, the people that have been able to encourage you because the favor of God has been with you always. Amen. It is, it is possible that you are you are harvesting of what others reaped. Or, or, I mean, you, you, are, you are harvesting what others planted. This is the favor of God. The, the things you are enjoying, is, if you look back, there are things you did not labor for. But God has enabled other people that they labor and you are enjoying these blessings. Praise the Lord. When, when you, you read the book of Deuteronomy 6 um, verse 11, it says, you will live in houses that you didn't build. God is taking is talking about generation generational blessings, houses that you are you did not build, you are living uh, in them. How lucky are you? How how, how do you see your God? He's so faithful. Even when uh, people labored, and you are the one enjoying the blessings, you have every reason to be grateful to this God. He, um, you have a friend or a neighbor who did not go to school like you. Uh, is that not a, an affair of God? Uh, you see, you, you, some things we take them for granted. When somebody has not been to school, it is not that he was not uh, uh, wise enough. Uh, uh, we, we, we can't say he was not good at school. But because maybe the parents were not able to take him to school. But I want to thank God because he has taken you to school. You have gone through your, uh, uh, your, your, your school life with the people, your friends. Others did not have that opportunity. And I want to 
to tell you that it was by the grace of God. I want to, to tell you, may the word gratitude be very close in your, in, uh, in your mouth so that uh, God can be, can be glorified when you thank him. God has been thinking about you before you came into your current situation. Even when uh, you, you may feel you want to, 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 uh, to regret, or you may think you want to maybe kill yourself, maybe say you are not fit. I want to tell you, God has been thinking about you. Even if you are in a bad situation, or even if things are not working well, God is still thinking about you. And I want to tell you, you are not alone in the challenges you are passing through. May you find uh, a word to say to your God that he is so faithful because you are passing through the challenge because he wants you to bring, he wants to bring you to a higher, higher level. Praise the Lord. Keep on thinking. I keep on thanking him and trusting him always in your life. And you continue enjoying the favor of God in your life. I want to tell you, God is so faithful. Always, and all the time, be a, have a word to say to God that he is faithful. Remember, uh, uh, the faithfulness of God cannot be changed by, by, by your situation. In fact, the challenges you are passing through, I want to tell you, God is working all through to make sure that you succeed. You have no reason to, to, to give up in life. Every time you pass through challenges, know that God is preparing you a better ground. It's not that uh, he wants to bring you down. He's, he's, he's doing this because he wants you to come to a level whereby others will see the glory of God in your life. I want to tell you, the brothers of Joseph uh, uh, in, in Genesis 37, they were surprised when they discovered Joseph is the, the prime minister in Egypt. I want to tell you, it is the working of God. Men may not be, uh, 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 be ready to walk with you the journey, but I want to tell you, God can never forsake you. He will be with you all through. He was with yourself all through the journey. Even if things did not work uh, well for, uh, in some areas, He never gave up. I want to encourage you, never give up. Always have a word of gratitude to your God. May God discipline your mind so that you can have these words of gratitude. Thank you, God. I praise you. I give you honor. All these words are glorifying God. May they be very close in your mind so that uh, God can be glorified in whatever thing you do. God bless you as you walk out this day. May he guide you all through so that you, he may be glorified in your life. Thank you and God bless you. Let us pray. Everlasting Father, we give you all the glory, we give you all the honor for your faithfulness. Thank you for my viewer, even for my listener. Thank you, King of Glory, for the great day that you have set before them. I pray, mighty God, King of God, that Lord, your power shall guide them all through, mighty God, King of God. May they evade any, any, any snares of the enemy. May they be uh, uh, protected, oh God, by Father, King of God, against any, any attack of the enemy. I pray, mighty God, King of Kings, oh my Father, as they go out, oh God, my Father, they are blessed. And as they come, as they come back, oh God, my Father, they are blessed. I pray, everlasting Father, mighty God, by the end of the day, everlasting Father, mighty God, King of God, my view and my listen, oh God, my Father, will have something to say thank you to you you have gratitude oh god before you lord we thank you and give you praise for you do pray in the mighty name of our Lord christ we pray and believe amen amen god bless you may you enjoy your day amen